My name's Aaron. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm fantastic and I'm doing really well. And today I'm viewing Chris Charnel Extract. And it's extracted by fam. This is 220 pounds for 100 ml. And this is concentrated at 30%. Chris Charnel Extract reveals the intensity of the original signature to extract a richer, more faceted version. It's a woody fragrance and the notes are cardamom, black tea, figure cord, bid notes of iris, vertiver, base notes, patchouli, vanilla, cedar sandwood, and tonka bean, and I am gonna get my eyes tested. Do we have a bottle of Gris Chanel? Are we engaged with the higher self? Let's get testing. So I particularly enjoyed the normal version, and now we're gonna test the extract. So let's have a look at the atomizer. The atomizers of this company I've noticed are particularly Super fantastical. Nice, wide, dispersive. When I reviewed the Gris Chanel, I thought it was particularly beautiful and it kept, I kept smelling it. It wasn't like super radiant, but I kept smelling it and I particularly liked it. The woody sweetness, vanilla, it was just very, very nice. I kind of really love it, but it does remind me of something and I can't figure out what, no idea. So it's a, it is a lot more dense, there is a difference. And that's one thing I'm gonna say before this. When you're making a extract or a concentrate or an elixir, I really regret choosing that name now, um, version of fragrances, you do construct them differently. It's not just 30% and the other one's 25%. You would construct them differently. You would increase the vanilla, you would increase the musk, you would increase the ingredients that give elevation. So you would rework the formula to give you more, more substantialness. But that takes skill because it's not just increasing everything. You have to increase some raw materials and decrease others to make it more concentrated. And that's what's happening here. I mean, it smells really identical if I'm honest, but I'm gonna be doing compare and contrast in a minute. And then we're gonna see from my memory, it smells really similar, but a lot more oomph to it, a lot more lift to it, a lot more weight to it. It feels more compact and expansive. And that's how it's being constructed. I wanted to say as well oh, that within perfumery you ha generally have or you can buy the natural version of something which would be the cardamom in this aspect and then you can buy the aroma chemical version which is lumine acetate or something people who don't like cardamom fragrances i've sort of heard i don't like it it smells spicy or it smells like food or kind of whatever i would try this because this contains cardamom extract and i am to be very honest with you a bit fan boiling fan boying is that the right word? I am a fan, so I'm gonna say I'm a fan of this company because I've not disliked anything which I've smelt yet. I think everything sort of smells like really luxurious and I kind of really, really love this, this brand. And I would never have even known this brand was out here unless I would have been doing this review. So I'm actually quite thankful that I'm doing this for a job so I can smell these these amazing brands. And this is a really beautiful brand. Everything I've smelled is really great. It smells super luxurious. And the price of this is, I think, all really, really good. So I would suggest, I think it's always very good to have one of this in this range, in your range, because I think they're really great and I can thoroughly recommend it. But this is giving you woody, smooth, they're in all of their formulas, they're very smooth and incredibly well-constructed. They smell very luxurious, they smell very natural and they're constructing perfume in the way that I like, which is the 30% naturals and the 70% aroma chemicals and giving that sort of natural lift to it. And in perfumery, I think the best type of perfumes are ones constructed around this way. Too much naturals and things can smell very old fashioned and can smell not particularly up to date and they don't give you longevity when it's 100% naturals. And also can be quite allergenic. If it's all aroma chemicals, it can smell very cheap and smell synthetic. Not always, but you know, I've reviewed things in the past that were primarily aroma chemicals and they smell like chemical labs. The strong aroma chemicals come off. I love things when they are 30% natural and 70% aroma chemicals. You just get a really great um, product. It just smells natural my brain resonates with it it just smells very beautiful that's what i think this is utilizing a lot of raw materials that i personally love using so i really resonate with this brand because it smells very familiar 
They're using uh, sandwood, cedarwood, patchouli, uh, the linalol compounds, uh, kumar and vanilla, and all these sort of things are very familiar. They have a very nice familiarity to it. The must choice is really excellent with this. I love this, I think it smells great. It's reminded me in the same ballpark as I had a fragrance called Santal Extreme, the first version, and Santal Extreme had this vanilla sandwood clean radiance to it and it's reminded me the vanilla and the sandwood and the sort of the ambers in it and the little old compounds are kind of reminding me of it to be honest and this work is smells quite uh not the same of course with different companies and different people there's a real similarity to this on to my final thoughts i'm really excited to get on to comparing the two because i want to see kind of what they do and the difference in price and everything so but I think this is great absolute unisex I think this is a autumn winter spring scent I think it's a signature scent it's office safe I wouldn't wear it to the gym anything like that but I think this is great for lounging around relaxing because the vanillin compounds in it and the, the must choice it smells fluffy and it smells very familiar and it smells uh just smells very relaxing very nice I think it's a great date scent, that sort of thing. It's kind of not strong enough for a date, but I think it's a, I think it's a signature scent. I think this, somebody would really wear it. And then if I smell them, I'd be reminded of it. That's kind of the thing. I think I think it's a signature scent, which I think is a great compliment because I would love some of my fragrances to be a signature scent. I think that's a great compliment. So I'm gonna mark this. I'm gonna mark it a nine out of 10. I kind of love it. I think it's really great. My criticism is I would love a bit more radiance from it. I would love just a little bit more projection, but all those raw materials in it are quite heavy, so it's quite difficult to do without distorting the naturals in it. But, you know, that, that's kind of what I'd love. So I'd love that review. Thumbs up and subscribe for fascinating, interesting content, lots of moving hands and lots of fragrance views. I hope you stay safe and well. See you soon.